Your next comedian puts the P in PC. Give it up for Justin Blackburn. Putting the P in PC. PCP. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. You guys ready for that one? You see it coming? How's everybody doing? Chewing some gum, chewing some gum. That's good. That's good. Good to see everybody. Uh, living in the South's weird. Anybody? Maybe not. Not too bad. May, to me, it's weird because of the bigots. Right? A lot of bigots in the South. Maybe not. <laughs> a lot of them have pride in the South, right? You know, it's good to have pride in shit. He's got pride in his gum that he's chewing. But I feel like, due to the oppressive history of the South, it needs to be immediately followed by a disclaimer. You know what I mean? Like, woo, the South! I love the South! Because I love my great-great-grandma's cornbread whiskey biscuit recipe. <laughs> oh, you thought I was going to say because of the white supremacy and the incest. <laughs> nope. Just biscuits for this fella. <laughs> yeah, Amen. A lot of them, uh, they sing songs about, their, about the South. They come together and they're like, You can take the boy out of old Dixie land, but you'll never take old Dixie out the boy. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that just means if you take the boy to New York, he's still going to say racist shit. <laughs> pretty sure Dixie just means racism. Some of the racists, they identify themselves by the flag that they fly on, off their truck. You know, they drive around like, woo! Yeah, 1844, yeah, what a great year. Wish we could go back, we're not smart enough to build a time machine, damn. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, that's weird without the racism, you know? It'd be like if I got a Windows 95 flag, <laughs> I tied it to my Nissan Altima, I drove around, I was like, woo, Windows 95. Never got any better than Windows 95. Who's coming to my house and playing Minesweeper? And it, you know, it, but it, you know, it is racist. And it, it is really dumb. But a lot of them are proud to be dumb. You ever met that guy? Like, I'm proud to be the goddamn dumbest son of a bitch you've ever met in your whole life. But at the same time, I believe my opinions matter and should be taken into consideration when contemplating every aspect of your life or I will kick your ass. Like, that's not how shit works, right? If you're dumb, you should just stay shutting the fuck up, right? Like, if a black person came in and was, like, you know, talking about police brutality, and I was like, wait a minute. It's not that bad. Uh, growing up in my rich white neighborhood... Anytime Officer McKinley caught me drinking and driving, he would drive me home, tuck me in bed. Him and my parents were good friends. You know, I can't say that, right? Because I'm dumb. I don't have that experience. All I can do is shut up and listen. But that's not enough for a lot of them. You know, they, have, they don't know the experience yet. They're like, they still talk about it. Like, I ain't no snowflake. I say what I want. Shit. My daddy beat me over the head with a two by four. Got a hole in my head because of it. You don't see me calling him out, do you? I ain't no damn snowflake. Say what I want. Well, what you want to say is racist, invalidating, and just ignorant. So why do you want to say it? You're right. She, we got that. <laughs> Told that joke in uh, Clemson, South Carolina. You guys ever been there? Had a guy had some words for me after the show. He started saying some racist shit, so I was like, that's, that's fucking dumb. And he got me, and he put me in a headlock, and he's like, who's dumb now, bitch? And I was like, you are. You're still dumb. Like, this hurts, and you can kick my ass, but no amount of violence is going to make you intelligent. You know what I'm saying? You guys ever been to Clemson, South Carolina? Yeah, yeah it's a great place. You got to go. Uh, no, seriously. They love their football team so much. Like, if you just go and scream out, Go Clemson! It doesn't matter what they're doing. They stop, and they're like, they're walking, you know, the, the book to class, like, go Clemson! Go Clemson! <laughs> like, they drop whatever they're doing, like, mid-barbecue bite, 
searching for Bigfoot, whatever the fuck they do, they, they stop and they yell, Go Clemson! It's like this weird, like, Hitler Youth Pavlov's dog magic trick. I've always wanted to see how far I could take it. Like, have sex with a frat dude's girlfriend. Like, bro, did you fuck my girlfriend? Like, go Clemson. Like, go Clemson. I thought she was the one. It was funny because uh, after me and the dude had a little bit of a, you know, interaction, uh, we got drunk together, and he's like, you know, man, me and you, we're, we're a lot alike. And I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, uh, you know, I, I, I project this image out there that I'm this real tough, you know, strong man, but deep inside, I'm real scared, and I'm, I'm in need of love. And I was like, damn, I couldn't see that shit coming from a million miles away. <laughs> you know, that mask you wear, it's really stapled to your face. <laughs> like, damn, you should be an actor. He's like, actor, you calling me gay? I'll kick your ass. Which I always find it weird how, like, this strong man is, like, always people, you know, equate being tough with, like, fighting. You know what I'm saying? I'll kick your ass. I'm tough and bullying. Which, to me, if you're really tough, you can control your own emotions. If you're really tough, the thought of two dudes making out doesn't make you want to shit your pants. And if you're really tough, you wouldn't be so afraid of love, you know? You're going you're gonna to fight love? Like, where you at, love? Huh? You inside of everybody in here right now? You omnipotent bitch. You inside of me? I'll kick your ass, love. Come outside of me and meet me outside. I saw you three weeks ago. He was blowing through the treetops under the moonlight. It was beautiful. But then you just disappeared. Just like everybody disappears out of my life. Yeah, it's sad. That guy's a sad character. That's why let's not make fun of those people and just, you know, try to reach them with goodwill and love. That's what I say. Um, I uh, thank you very much for coming out. I got this book. It's called uh, It's Hard to Get There When You're Already There. Uh, the proceeds go to Michael Roach. And um, thank you all for coming out. Thank you.